Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Daft Trucks Ireland here in Dublin. Now look what I have behind me guys. I've got a lineup of new DAF XFs. Now some of you will remember that I drove the previous version to this truck in another video that had 460 horsepower. So we have its replacement here, the white one, that has 480 horsepower. But look, we have the Super Space Cab beside it, which has 530 horsepower. So I'm really looking forward to showing you all around this cab. This has the exclusive trim, so you're going to enjoy looking around the inside of this. And then we'll be getting hooked underneath a trailer and taking it for a test drive. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this, guys. Let's go. Okay, I'm just going to start off with the exterior design and let you know the differences between this and the previous model I drove in the last video. So yeah, I'm just going to walk up here and just let you see the differences in the grille design. But I'll just mention quickly that we have three 480 horsepower DAF XFs here. And of course the Super Space has 530 horsepower. And here we have the Space Cab, that has 530 horsepower. And beside it we have Sam Dennigan. So this truck will be hitting the road shortly. It's got 480 horsepower. Yeah, so the rain is coming down, so sorry if you're hearing a lot of wind noise and rain on the lens, but we will keep going. So down below here you'll see we have the silver trim. That houses the number plate, of course. And here we have the fold-out steps. So you have three of them, of course, and one there. And you can grab here to climb up and clean your windscreen. We have three grab handles there on top. Now we have a new, improved, more aerodynamic sun visor. That's to make the truck more fuel efficient. And I really like the lamps there on top. They are built in very nicely up top there. And we have the four air horns. So they will be pretty loud. <laughs> now I'm just gonna open up the grill. Let me just close them down. Very easily done. And I have this already pre-opened. Just to give you, give you a look inside. So we have our usual coolant. We can top up with oil. And here you have your washer fluid for your windscreen. Now you'll notice as well, it's completely different here when you open up the grill to the previous model. We have a wider radiator to make things even more efficient. And outside as well, let me just show you this small little detail. You see the little vents there? There's one at either side. They come in here and they just let allow air into the filter. So yeah, just a nice little detail there. And down here, for improved aerodynamics, they have added in this piece just to channel air into the radiator. And also this piece is new compared to the older version. So they've added in that. So it's all to do with aerodynamics and making the truck more fuel efficient. Now also to the older model, you'll notice we have the silver grill here, this silver section here, that is new. And also I just want to show you just one quirky little detail here. Now on the 530 model, you notice the top section of the grill. You know, you can go right through the grill, obviously for more cooling. But if I move over to the 480 horsepower one, you'll notice the, the top, I can't put my pen in, because it doesn't need as much cooling as the 530. So yeah, just a little quirky detail I thought I'd point out to you. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's nice to know all these little details. Now, we don't have LEDs on this. These are just standard halogen lamps. We do have an LED daytime running lamp and we have nice trim surround on these lamps. Now, these are the cornering spot lamps. The 480 just has the standard spot lamps, but these are cornering um, fog lamps, so very nice to have them. And I'll just give you one more detail as well on the wheel arch. You'll notice on the 480, we have this little extended piece here on the arch, but the 530 doesn't have it because the tire is bigger. So we have an 80 profile tire here and a 70 profile tire here. So it just allows you more space um, on this one, you know, to have the extra space there. Because, you know, if you're in a uh, very uneven road, you know, it could rub up against the black piece if you had it on the 530. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's very handy to have it anyway. It just kind of tightens up that gap when you're using your smaller wheel. Okay, so we're just going to take the truck in out of the rain because, uh, yeah, the rain is coming down. <laughs> 
So uh, it's getting very wet out here and it's a bit unfair on you watching if you're going to be watching raindrops on the lens. So yeah, we're getting it in out of the rain and we'll go down through plenty more information on the new XF. Okay, so we're in out of the rain, nice and dry in the garage and O'Dowd's XF530 looking very well. But beside it here, I just want to show you the previous 460 horsepower. This is the previous model and you'll see straight away from the old grille design. And if I come over to the new one, you'll see we have the T-shape. So you'll always notice the newer version coming against you on the road from that newer grille. Now this exhaust after treatment system is 40% smaller than the previous version. Now some of you will remember in the last video, the previous version was coming out to about here, so it was taking up even more space in the chassis. But this is a far better system for saving space. And over there we have the 490 litre capacity uh, diesel tank. Now you can get an additional tank but only on the smaller wheel version of the XF you can get an additional 325 litre tank if you wish but uh, yeah I can hear it getting very windy outside but um, yeah I'm just giving you a look here so th this is the 490 litre capacity tank and this is a regulation as well all trucks will have to have this sticker on them it's just to do with the different fuel types that you can use in your truck and that is our 90 liter Ad Blue tank. Now you can have the option to have a 140 liter Ad Blue tank if you wish, but that is the standard 90 liter tank. But a yeah, very tidy area at the back, isn't it, for keeping all the Susies? And we have our full air deflector kit. Yeah, so I'm just walking around, just giving you a quick look, let you know what this truck is all about. Now, what I find strange as well, but it's an actual fact that the smaller wheel that is a lift-up axle on the other trucks is also 46 ton gross. So this truck can gross 46 ton along with the other version that has the smaller wheel. So yeah, just walking around to the back axle, this is a newly revised back axle with a faster ratio for uh, improved fuel consumption. So yeah, making the truck even more fuel efficient. And we have our battery box at the back. Now you can have the option to have LED lamps at the rear. These are just the bulb lamps, but uh, that is an option should you wish. And let me just open up the side uh, locker. Nice silver trim on the door handle. And we have the DAF, nice trim there. And the three steps leading up into the cab. So we just have the hump there. It is a bit of a intrusion into the cab, but uh, yeah, it's, you have plenty of headspace in the XF and plenty of lights. We also have an LED lamp up there. I'll show you that shortly for plenty of lamp light into the interior. So let me just move around here and show you the locker area. So we have good space in there, but this does hinder access slightly, getting things up on top. But uh, yeah, that is a nice area there on the side locker. Close that up and we just go down to some of the trim. So this has the exclusive trim. So we have this very nice finish on the door and storage down here. And we also have the lamp there for lighting up the steps at night. And let me just give you a quick look at the key. So we can obviously lock and unlock by remote and we can test all the lamps. If I keep my finger pressed on this, we can test all of those lamps and the fog lamps and the spot lamps up on top. But uh, yeah, very handy to go down through all the different lamps and keep the button pressed and to turn it back off. Now, we're just going to have a quick look at this locker here. Let me just open up that, give you a look in here. Yeah, so we've got good space in here also. 
and we have all our bars there for jacking the cab. Now, of course, you can get your Alcoa aluminium wheels if you wish um, as an option. But yeah, I think it's time to hop inside and check out the interior. Okay, so we've just made it back outside and we have the XF530. That is the one we are taking away on the drive, pulling the International Truck of the Year 2018 trailer. So we'll be going down through all the controls on the dashboard shortly, but I like the silver all around the dashboard and also up here and the brown. This is part of the exclusive trim package and matching in with the doors and I like that silver piece up on top. That is where all your fuses are housed in behind that cover. So easy access there, but uh, look at the steering wheel. Nicely finished, isn't it? With the leather cover matching in with the seats. That is nicely done. And we have a fold out armrest here. Nice and comfortable. Fold that up. Yeah, so good high headrest there for the driver. And on the back wall there, we have the auxiliary heater. So you have your uh, on and off buttons, of course, and we, we can open and close the sunroof. And we also have a reading lamp there. And storage on the back wall with some more silver trim and a 12 volt socket there and more storage up on top. So uh, yeah, this mattress is not the standard mattress. This is the comfort mattress. So this is an option which I would recommend going for because it is very comfortable compared to the standard mattress. Yeah, so let's just move up to the top bunk. Now there is a fold out ladder. You'll see it there folded down to gain easy access up to the bed. And here it is folded back up. And I can push up this bed very easily. And it's held up by this little arm here. So oh, can I do that with one hand? There you go. <laughs> nice and easy to fold that up. Very bright LED lamp here. And all the other lamps there. We have a big sunroof here which you can tilt and you can also fold across a fly shade and you can block it out also. So uh, good to have that option. Let's just show you that folding back down quite easy to get up to the top bunk. And let's just open up the lockers here. Now each locker does have a lamp, very handy to see your items inside. We also have another locker over there and more storage in here. But uh, let's just move down and lift up the bed, which is very easy to do. Uh, li literally one hand operation, easy. So you can gain access to your outside lockers. Uh, very good. And yeah, this is the, let me just fold down, back down the bed and just show you, you can pull out this drawer here uh, for storage in there. Plenty of storage and also the fridge, which has a little cup holder there. So I like that. And we have plenty of space in there for all your refrigerated items. And over here, we can also store a bottle and you have more storage in there. So the, the, the seat is fully adjustable with lumbar support and it's also heated and ventilated. So plenty of comfort from the driver's seat. Okay, let's sit in and go down through the controls. So quickly going down through our controls, we have our speedometer there, we have our uh, fuel gauge of course, and add blue gauge. And we also have our engine temperature rev counter, and this will let us know what gear we're in. Now we have the five inch TFT screen. Let me just zoom in there and go down quickly through that and give you a look at what we have. So we have the main menu there, vehicle information, uh, driving support, we have our service intervals, and trip information. So let's just click on one of them and see what we have. Uh, average speed, fuel consumption, and come back out of that and we can go down through our settings there. So you can set your alarm clock from the driver's seat, all the different languages, the card settings for the tachograph, speed control, click on that for your eco roll function. And over here, your different units there Click on that for temperature, distance, volume, fuel consumption. And over here, we have our dim settings for the controls, the instruments. So yeah, just a quick look through the information display and we can go down through our phone functions also for your Bluetooth. 
Okay, coming out of that onto the lovely trimmed steering wheel, as I said, <laughs> over here we have our phone functions and our radio control functions for your stereo. Over here we can do the engine revs, we can get them ticking over a bit faster if you wish, and we can turn it back down. And over here we can go down through our adaptive cruise control, so I'll have to go back into the main menu just to show you quickly that. So we can set our distance to the vehicle ahead by that switch there. So you'll see on the left side, we can set our distance away on the uh, adaptive cruise control, which is brilliant. I always like the adaptive cruise control. So yeah, that's operated from here. Uh, moving over to the dashboard, we have our handbrake there, of course. Stereo there, nice screen with a CD slot. And over here, all of these switches are interchangeable on this new XF. So you can move these switches over here, or these ones over here, or these ones up over here if you want. But while I'm up here, I'll just show you we have the controls for opening and closing the sunroof, and also the fly shade for the sunroof, and our spot lamps for the roof outside, and our tachograph. But uh, yeah, it's very handy to be able to move those switches around. Uh, something you can do on this uh, new XF. We have our new air conditioning system, storage in here. Uh, let's go down through some of the controls here. We can uh, lift up and down our mid-lift axle. This is for dimming your instrument, um, all your instrument gauges. And here we have the, uh, the cross axle differential lock. And here we have the new Traxxon gearbox. So this is, uh, I've been interested to see uh, what this is like to drive, but, uh, and over here, it has four reverse gear settings. Would you believe that? Uh, so you have four different speeds for going into reverse. I really like that. But uh, yeah, over here, uh, let's go down through. Um, that is the regeneration of your diesel particulate filter. So the truck will do it automatically, but you can't force a recharge or uh, regenerating, uh, as I should say, of the diesel particulate filter. We have the lane departure warning system. We have our ad advanced emergency braking system. Over here, we have our anti-slip regulation switch and for leveling off our back axle and your hill hold function. Now this piece, you can take that out and you can mount a phone there if you wish. Uh, over here, we have our fold out table as before and our fold out cup holders there, which are adaptive. Uh, nice touch there. And we can also slot our diesel cards or um, credit cards in there if you wish. But yeah, um, the Traxxon gearbox, all new gearbox on the uh, newly revised engine. So I'm really interested to find out what that is like on the road. So you'll see there we have the ambient lighting. Let me just turn that on quickly and give you a quick look. You'll see it there. And if I move up here, we have two more lamps above the lockers and also two more there for your adaptive lights. And I'm just gonna move that back and get full lights on for you guys. We can lock our doors and we have the rear reversing buzzer switch. You can turn that off and more interior lights there. That is a spotlight above the driver for reading. But yeah, um, over here we have a 12 volt socket and over there your 24 volt socket. So yeah, I can't think of anything else I need to show you here. We have all of our uh, electric windows and electric mirrors, which are also heated. And over here we have the, uh, that is for turning off all the interior lights. And over there we have the catwalk light. So you can turn that on or off from there, which is very handy to have. And we also have a fully adjustable, good driving position to have that steering wheel fully adjustable. So yeah, I think it's time to take, not this truck, but that truck, uh, get it hooked under a trailer and take it out on the road. Okay guys, it's a wet one. Let's get this wound up and hit the road. Okay guys, it is extremely wet outside. Probably the wettest I've ever had to do a truck video. But uh, yeah, it's almost dark here. We're running out of light, so I'm gonna hit the road. Um, and let's give a test. Nice armrest here too. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this. 
see what the new Traxxon gearbox is all about. And uh, one thing great about the DAF XFs as well is that they have the four airbags at the back, which makes that axle going over that speed bump there <laughs> very comfortable with the four airbags. So uh, let's just pull out of here and get it out for a test. So we have the very nice trailer at the moment. We're pulling that. Now, there is no weight on it, very light load. So uh, yeah, that is, um, I would prefer to pull it with a fully loaded trailer, but that's all that's available. So you have to take what you're given, guys. <laughs> but I can even feel it going over the bumps there. It is very comfortable. Now you can get the option for an air ride front suspension, which would give the front axle even more comfort. But one thing I have to point out is that the air ride front suspension is not available on the mid lift with the big wheel. It's only available on the small wheel mid lift and on the four x two. So uh, yeah, just something to take in mind if you're ordering the air ride front suspension. But going over these bumps here, um, it's a bit bumpy on this road. It is coping quite well um, just in standard front suspension that we have here. So yeah, we're gonna go over another speed bump here. And yeah, the comfort. <laughs> now guys, I've driven trucks with only two airbags in the back axle. And you can notice it straight away going over that speed bump, just the extra comfort. Now the cab pitch, let me just go around the roundabout here now and let me just test that. Yeah, the cab pitch seems nicely controlled. Now, of course, there is a bit more pitch on it to the space cab, and that is because you have more weight up top. But uh, yeah, the gearbox is changing very nicely. Now, to be honest, I don't really notice it changing much faster than the previous model, but it is smoother and it is more efficient at changing gears. So it might not be necessarily faster, but the way that the gearbox is engineered, it's more efficient to aid fuel consumption. So we're back out here now onto the N7 and we can tip away nicely. The conditions are very bad for driving. So I'm just going to take my time. And of course we can go down through our gearbox manually just by flicking the lever. So down through the gears into 10th. So I'm just going to turn on our heated mirrors because they are soaking wet. And yeah, very comfortable, nice comfortable seat. Now, of course, I have complained about the narrowness of the windscreen. So yeah, the windscreen is quite narrow, but the visibility out here between the mirror and the pillar is quite good. On the left-hand side as well, not too bad on the left. And the mirrors themselves are quite good. As I said before, it would be nice if they were a bit wider. But uh, I'm just going to turn on those fans again because these windows are, are uh, fogging up. So we'll get the fan on. And yeah, we're just tipping away nicely here. And I'll try and get it up to 80 kilometers just to see what it's revving in at. Because these engines, the torque is developed lower down the rev range. So with the new improved engines, in, for instance, the 480 and the 530, the torque is coming in at 900 RPM. So in the previous version, it was coming in at 1000 RPM. So your power band is lower down the rev range. So that should be, have us performing very well. But definitely I can't notice the gearbox changing gears any faster, but it is designed to be more efficient to save on fuel. So there is, as I said, a 7% saving on fuel with the new engines compared to the previous model. Yeah, but first impressions are quite impressive. Oh, that is a lot of standing water there, guys. Whoa, that is an awful lot of water. Whoa, <laughs> just really had to slow down there. Okay, we're just gonna take it nice and easy now going around this roundabout and we can make our way back. 
Okay, if you were to compare this 530 with the previous 510, this has 100 newton meters more than the 510. Um, so this has 2,600 newton meters of torque, whereas the previous 510 has 2,500 newton meters of torque. So yeah, it just gives you an idea of the torque figure between the 530 and the previous 510. So DAF continuously improving their trucks all of the time but as I said the cab is a bit dated in its design hopping out uh, grabbing the top step is a bit awkward getting your foot out onto that top step climbing out of the truck <laughs> that is our lane departure warning so we can switch that off very handy handy to have your lane departure warning and of course we have the advanced emergency braking system as well and there it goes again but uh, yeah very handy safety features to have and the uh, engine brake here the th three stage engine brake is standard on the XF DAF and it's actually 70% as effective as the ZF Intarder so the Intarder is basically the same as a Retarder that's just, just the expression that uh, ZF give the the uh, intarder so it's just another system for slowing you down without having to use your brake pedal so you're saving on brake wear you're saving on tire wear with your engine braking system and your ZF intarder which is available as an option so that is handy if you're towing heavy weights and you're going down a lot of hills uh, it's very good to have your ZF intarder so uh, yeah we're not too far away from the base now and I'm going to pull in it's not often I do a review at night <laughs> but uh, yeah time has just flew away today but it's been a very enjoyable day today learning all about the DAF and uh, learning all about its features and there's a very small little detail I want to show you when we get back and I'll show you a quick shot of this interior because it differs slightly to the O'Dowd orange truck that I was in earlier but uh, yeah, we'll just go back to base and I'll show you all those details. Okay, we're just back here in the garage. I'm just going to knock off the engine. Uh, yeah, back into the dry garage. So you see on this particular version I was driving we have the wood look to the dashboard all around the dashboard um, It kind of reminds me of the one that I used to drive back in 2003 and we also have the wood look to the tops of the doors and Also on the dashboard over there and we have fabric seats on This exclusive trim so it all depends what you want. Do you want the wood look or do you, you want the silver look on the dashboard? But it's great to be able to so show you both options here at DAF Trucks Ireland. And we also have a new design for the remote control for uh, raising and lowering your back axle. And of course, no clutch pedal with the 12 speed Traxxon gearbox, the all new gearbox. Um, yeah, oh, that's nice as well, isn't it? Just above the step there. But I just want to move back here because I just want to show you one quick detail. Um, before I wrap up today's video that little vent guys can you tell me before this video ends what is that vent for because I will tell you shortly uh, maybe even some drivers don't even know what that vent is for we'll see <laughs> but um, yeah you can see we have the tank on the driver's side as opposed to the orange one did not have a tank on this side because it had the bigger wheel so you do have the small wheel option which is also 46 ton gross and we have the 325 litre tank on the driver's side and a 605 litre tank on the passenger side and the LED lamps on the rear as well. So you can get those LED lamps inside um, in the parts department if you wish. So that is your 605 litre tank and we have the steps there built in. <laughs> Very handy and easy for getting onto your catwalk which is nice and flat. Uh, very nicely done by DAF and uh, I like the way it's curbed up there so you don't slip in with your foot uh, just clever little details there okay guys does anyone 
Did anyone figure it out what that vent is for? I will show you with a little bit of a diagram there. That vent is for venting the heat that comes out of the spotlights at the front. So that is a clever little detail that I did not know until today, that that vent is for venting the spot lamps up on the roof. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Okay, before we wrap up today's video, I just want to show you one small little detail. You see the black trim all around the inside of the door here, that's to hide the exterior color showing on the interior. So just another small little detail that that has done with the revised XF. Yeah, really like this truck. It's um, okay. Some parts of it are showing its age. You know, it is an old design, but it has been improved so much over the years. So the improvements to the engine, we have an all new gearbox, the Traxxon 12 speed gearbox, 530 horsepower, 2,600 Newton meters of torque and the torque coming in very low down in the rev range, just 900 RPM is where the power band starts. So that's a 100 RPM improvement on the previous 510 horsepower XF. We have all the improvements to the aerodynamics, the engine, as I said, the gearbox, all new gearbox, new improved exhaust system, and the new back axle as well, all contribute to a 7% improvement in fuel consumption. So it should be a very good fuel efficient truck for your business. You should definitely check it out, the new XF. And yeah, if you ever want to visit them here in Baldonnell, Daft Trucks Ireland, they have a very nice showroom inside here. You can buy jackets, you can buy all the exterior trim pieces for your truck and spot lamps. And they also have some very nice model trucks. So with it coming up towards Christmas, you might want to get some of them for your sons or daughters. Whoever's into trucks, call here and they will provide you with all of those models. But that's a wrap guys from Daft Trucks Ireland. And I just want to say thank you all very much for watching. It's been a bit of a long video, but so much to explain to you about this truck. Until next week guys, Cheers, thanks for watching. Cheers! <laughs> These boys are heading home. They've been waiting for me so long today to finish up. So we have James here and we have John. Very helpful helping me out today in today's video. Right boys, are we going home? Let's go, right?